Hey guys, what's up? Sarah here at Fisher Price Ranch, and today I thought I would do a video about how to do fecals. Uh, we have a couple of does that had some diarrhea, and we got two of them to clear up with just some probiotics. We did a food change, and some of them reacted to it. But we have one that's got horrible fecal. Um, it's very, very watery, mucusy, a little bit of blood in there. So we are going to check her fecal and see what's going on. Alright, so here's our doe. She's got real bad poopy butt. And this is her fecal. She's got a little bit of blood in there. And very mucusy. So we're going to take a sample of this. And get it, see how that's... I'm not sure if that's a worm. Could be. So we're going to get some of this fecal. The blood may be from, uh, because she just had babies. Not Or no, she hasn't had babies yet. Never mind. So it's definitely from her stool. So we're going to get a good amount of this. And you don't want it right off the ground. You want it a clean sample, so right in the middle is good. And I just put it in my little test tube here. We're going to take it right into the house. All right, so we're going to do our fecals. Um, so we have our microscope. It does 10, um, sorry, 4 times, 10 times, and 40 times. 40 times is usually what you need to find any parasite eggs. Um, I do want to get a new one of these with a double eye because it does hurt my eye when I have to do a bunch of fecals. Um, but anyway, then we got our wooden stir sticks. I think I got those at a craft supply. And I use them when I, when I mix up the stool. Now here's our stool sample that we just got. We have our salt solution, which I made myself. You can use like a canning salt, pickling salt and water and you just want to put a bunch in there stir it all up after so long once it's kind of done mixing any extra crystal you're going to pull out and then that's your high concentrated solution and then we've got our slides and then our cover slips in here and then the rest of the stuff is just extra so that's all we need so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our salt solution. Sorry for the noise, my laundry is going. And we're going to fill this up. Not all the way, just enough to cover up all the manure. We're going to start with that. Try and get all the poop down in there. We're going to mix it up. All right, so once that is mixed up, I have my little funnel here, and I cut a bigger hole in it because it was too long for my little jar that I keep on hand. And then we're going to do some cheesecloth, and you want to strain out the thick pieces of manure. So I'm going to stir this up just one more time. And depending on how much manure um, you have in there, I'm going to add a little bit more of the solution. I know there's like a, a certain amount that you're supposed to add. I've never had any issues finding the eggs doing it this way, just going by eye. So now that's all mixed up. We're going to dump the solution through the cheesecloth and we're going to let it drain for a few minutes. That way every last drop will fall down into the bottom. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to go wash this real quick. Alright, so this is now dry. We're going to set it upside down so it'll drain. Now I'm going to move this out of my way. So we're done with that for the time being. Alright, so now... We're just going to 
pit this to make sure every last drop is done. And you can see what's left is just some manure on the cheesecloth. So we're going to take this and throw it away because we don't need that anymore. All right. So now we're going to take our slide. Now I do not have McMaster slides yet. I need to order them. They have a little grid on there so you can do an accurate egg count. I need to get on that. All right. So now we're going to take our plunger. Let me get rid of this salt solution really fast because we're done with that. We're done with our stir sticks. Put those away. All right, so we have our slide here, and now we are going to get rid of this as well. <laughs> Let me go put it in the sink. All right, so now, let me get a little bit closer for you. What we have left is our solution, and you're going to stir it about 20 times. Move that down a little bit more. There we go. Here's my slide. I know that's really hard to see. Stir this up real good and immediately we're going to draw some out of that and we're going to put about two good drops on here. Okay, and then we're going to stir this again. And we're going to do that again. I like to do at least three slides. That way I get a good, accurate idea of what's going on. Okay, and then there's our last one. Okay. So now, immediately, we're going to take our cover slips, which are very, very tiny and thin. And we're going to cover each one. You want to do it kind of carefully. That way you don't cause any air bubbles. Two, one more. I'm getting low on these. I have another one though. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes. Not any longer though. The the time that we let it sit, the eggs will float to the top, so we can see it better. So I'm going to put it. Up on my microscope for now and we're gonna wait about five minutes and then we'll come back all right so it's been about that time so we're gonna go ahead and start looking underneath the microscope now unfortunately I don't have something that I can you know link my camera up to this so you guys can see but I will take pictures and show you guys kind of what it looks like now we're gonna start with our smallest eyepiece and get everything nice and focused and then once we get that focus we're going to move to the next size which is our 10 times and then we're going to focus and you want to make sure that you're seeing the top part of the slide because it zooms in and out uh, depending on the depth and you want to make sure that you're looking at the right part of the slide. So we're going to move this around a little bit and focus around till I know I'm at the right part. So you could focus all the way from the top of the slide all the way to the bottom. So usually if I can find an air bubble then I know I'm focused on the right part of the slide. And I've got two air bubbles right here. So I'll take a picture of that. All right, so now that I know that I'm at the right part of the slide, we're just gonna kinda move around, see if we see anything. Now I've got three slides to go through. And I'm staying at about 10 magnification. 
because usually you can see the eggs at that point. They're small, but you can usually see them. Then if I think I see an egg, I'm going to go down to my largest 40 times, and I'm going to change the, mag or the little dial down here so I can see it closer. Now that is not an egg, it's just a piece of debris. Now you'll see a lot of debris even though we've um, strained out everything. You'll still see a lot of particles. So we're just going to keep moving around here. Okay, that one might be an egg right there. So we're going to check it again up close. And I'm going to show you guys this one because I do believe that's an egg. Alright, now as you guys can see, it's pretty round. Um, most of the eggs are oval shaped. So we're going to keep this one in mind. But we're going to go back to our 10 times setting. Refocus. And we're going to keep moving around. All right, so I think I found another one, different. So we're gonna focus on this one. Well, maybe it's not quite different. So I'll show you guys this one. All right, so after closer examination, it does kind of look like a similar egg to the last one. So we're gonna keep on looking, this is why I like to take pictures of them and then I can compare them all at the same time. And we're still on our first slide. Now when I first started doing fecals, sometimes I'd think something was an egg, but it's just plant particles. They're usually green with nothing on the inside, it's just a round circle of green, brown. They don't have a lot of um, detail in them, they're pretty bland. So when I first started doing fecals, I was like, oh my gosh, there's eggs everywhere. <laughs> but it was just plant particles, because that's what they eat. So I'm not really seeing much else on this slide. A lot of plant material. Now we did just switch their feed a little bit. We started giving them some alfalfa in their diet. Um, just because this winter has been pretty bad. And I didn't fully acclimate them to it. I just kind of threw it in there. I gave them a little bit one day and then two days later I gave them a little bit more and then I just filled them up with it. So sometimes that's the cause of the diarrhea is you just suddenly change their diet and uh, they can't handle it. And so I've had three goats out of 49 that got diarrhea, so I think that's pretty dang good. So one of them, we just gave her a little bit of probiotics and her poop is firming right up. So I think hers was just a little bit of stomach upset. The other doe, I sat up there forever waiting for her to poop, 
and she wouldn't, so I'm going to sit up there with her a little while longer later, but her butt's pretty clean today, so I'm thinking she's clearing up as well, but this dough is not clearing up, and I have some kaolin pectin, which works very well for diarrhea. Uh, one of our goats that we had transported from Missouri all the way here to Arizona, he almost died. He got shipping pneumonia, or shipping pneumonia, shipping fever, and uh, he got really, really sick, lost a bunch of weight, had horrible diarrhea, was off feed, he was snotty, uh, he was going downhill really fast, but we were able to save him, and that's Maestro that you guys have seen in my other videos. And uh, he was totally healthy after a while, except that he continued to have the diarrhea. I tried everything to get rid of it, and nothing worked. And then I came across the kale and pectin, and immediately, the next day, he was back to normal poop. So I love that stuff. I keep it on hand. He's the only one I've had to use it with. And I got him last year, so I think that's pretty good. So we may do it on this dough. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move to the next slide because I'm not seeing anything else in that one. But we're going to give her some more probiotics, some kale and pectin. Not seeing a whole lot. Those are the only two eggs that I've found so far. Which is good. That's the one thing that we do like about the Kiko goats, is they're pretty parasite resistant. Even if they carry parasites, their body usually can handle it, and we don't deworm here. I have never dewormed any of my Kikos. That's one of the reasons that we have them, is they're so um, healthy, and they can handle a lot of stuff that other goats can't. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and continue to go through these slides. If I see anything, I'll take a picture and share it with you guys. But you don't need to see me staring down into a microscope. I know it's kind of boring. So I'll come back when I'm all done. But I'll share any pictures if I come across any more. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm looking at. As you can see, I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold steady here. You can see all the little particles in there. Let me just see if I can zoom in for you. So that right there is an egg. You can see how it's oval shaped, it has stuff on the inside of the egg. I can't sit still, I'm sorry. But, anyway, let me zoom back out. Kind of give you an idea of what I'm looking at. Alright, so after looking under the microscope, I looked at all three slides. And I only found a few eggs. And so I'm going to pretty much say that she does not have parasites. I think it's probably just the change in the feed, like I said. So we are going to today give her some of the kale and pectin to help really firm that up because it's pretty liquidy, mucusy. Um, so we're going to give her some of that, a little bit of probiotics later this afternoon, and uh, we'll see if that helps firm her up. But I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, I'm still learning, as like I've said in many of the videos, I'm still a new goat farmer, even though I've been doing it for a few years. Um, always something to learn, definitely. So we will see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe to our channel down below and hit the notification button. And we will see you guys next time.